Uh, John? Hi, I've got the Belgian Embassy on the phone. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, they're, they're saying you promised you'd say two nice things about Belgium and you still owe them one. No, I don't. I, I said the thing about novelists. Yeah. Yeah, and I just said they weren't one of the low countries. They don't think that really counts as a compliment. <laughs> Why not? Firstly, it's a bit lukewarm, and secondly, they are one of the low countries. <laughs> well, OK, can't I just say something quickly nice about Belgium now? They're rather hoping you will. Oh, OK. Um, Belgium is a really, really, really lovely place. Uh, I like the Belgian countryside. I like the Belgian race. The fact that I'm not Belgian is a personal disgrace. <laughs> For Belgium, Belgium, Belgium is the best. Uh, how's that? They want to know if you're being sarcastic. No. <laughs> I'm not, honestly, I'm, I'm not. I, I genuinely really like the place. I, I, I really cannot tell you what a Belgian fan I am. I would sooner be in Brussels than Berlin or Amsterdam. I like my chips with mayonnaise. I love Jean-Claude Van Damme. For Belgium, Belgium, Belgium is the best. Belgium is quite honestly the greatest land on earth. We regard all time as wasted that's not spent on Belgian turf. We will celebrate the Belgians now for all that we are worth. For Belgium, Belgium, Belgium is the best. Any chance to visit Belgium I regard as heaven sent. Whoever Flanders or Wallonia I am equally content. From the Rubens who's in Antwerp to the Gravenstein in Ghent. Oh, Belgium, Belgium, Belgium is the best. Every inch of Belgium's as bewitching as can be From Anders in the south right up to Ostend on the sea OK, they messed up Africa, but God knows so did we <laughs> Belgium, Belgium is the best Belgium could beat anyone in any kind of fight the armies of the globe would quail before the Belgian might. The Belgians soon will rule the world, and that is only right. For Belgium, Belgium, Belgium is the best. Behold the Belgian banners and beware the Belgian hordes. They are coming to subdue us with their massive Belgian swords. We must all bow down before them, our new Belgian overlords. For Belgium, Belgium, Belgium rules the world. I must admit I didn't know until I heard this song. The Belgian was so warlike, all their armies were so strong. And so much power in Belgian hands is surely very wrong. Belgium, Belgium, Belgium must be stopped! Belgium, be afraid, for we are coming for you soon. Your reign of fear and blood must end this very afternoon. We're determined to destroy you, be a Fleming or Walloon. Oh, Belgium, Belgium, Belgium is the worst! Okay, Ed, are they happy now? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> the BBC would like to profoundly apologise to the proud nation of Belgium for the cheap insults and casual racism to which it has been subjected throughout the past half hour. It would also like to point out something perhaps not realised by non-native English speakers, which is that it happens that the word Belgium, simply by the fact of beginning with a hard plosive B, and ending with an unusual combination of J and M sounds, has a superficially comic sound to the Anglophone ear. <laughs> and that is the sole reason why lazy hack comedy writers, <laughs> such as Mr Finnamore, continue to reach for Belgium as a default funny country, <laughs> decades after Douglas Adams and Rowan Atkinson did it far better. <laughs> Of course, if Mr Finnamore had the courage of his convictions, he would use the opportunity to attack the true source of evil in the world, which is, of course, in the official opinion of the BBC, the BBC. <laughs> that was the Comedy of the Week from BBC Radio 4. You can hear more comedy at 11.30, 6.30 and 11pm every weekday on Radio 4 or any time you like through the BBC iPlayer. For more information, please go to bbc.co.uk forward slash radio 4. Ha, 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 ha.